last night and is out indefinitely. They saw him back behind the cage. Stang slowed. Puck to the point. The blocker save made by Dobish. All these finale. Here's Wisconsin's Charlie Stramel. A couple of nice moves through neutral ice and almost walked around Marooney before it slid off his stick. Marooney throws his body around. He's seen foul cycles to the corner. Puck out to the point. Lutry. A wild pass that found its way to Horbach and Lindmark steps around Stephen Holliday. And Dexheimer in front for Smolonic. He was open, got his stick on it, but couldn't put it on goal. Ty Smolonic with an assist on his birthday last night. Now two points for the Denver, Colorado native. He missed 14 games for personal reasons and returned to the lineup here. Here is a chance Burnside passed behind him from the stick of Holiday, but he feeds Regula. His shot deflected up over the glass, and that's out of play. 16 He is. Jakob Dovish is just as big. 6'4", a little lighter at about 200 pounds or so, and he has very good numbers, too. Sure does. The Big Ten goalie of the year last year, the co-freshman of the year in the Big Ten. I don't, I don't know why, but he was the second team preseason all Big Ten after those credentials his freshman year. But they, the, they give it to Michigan's Eric Portillo. Every, I know, but... Bonquist shoots one low, sticking in. Dobish waits there. And Dobish not afraid to play the puck. He is, I mean, he's just athletic. He's, he is a fantastic netminder and only going to get better. Icing was waved off. Cool. They want to move up the standings. Orbach stick handling, hands off now. Lemaster forced to pass out to Lodge. His shot blocked by Joe Dunlap. Stramel now. Here's D. St. Val walking the goal line. Tried to go short side, and Dobish fought it off with his left shoulder. I think Stramel's laughing at him. The linesman getting a word in or two. <laughs> now Roosh is pleading for Stramel's case for lies that KG veterans cheating in the draw, right? <laughs> Off circle. Hmm. Bill Hancock was the one dropping the puck. Badgers get a five-on-three power play for two minutes. Caulfield, here's Kuhlman's missed the net. Chance back side, and Lucius stopped by Dobish. Here's Lucius, nine goals this season, three on the power play. Lit the lamp last night. Here's Kuhlman's again and whistled it wide. Five-on-three power play for the Badgers for a full two minutes after the face-off violation. Lucius changes places with Caulfield. Now feeds Caulfield back straight away. Guzzo out there on the penalty kill along with Lorai and McWard. Caulfield with it. Plenty of time in this five on three. Lucius tried to go upstairs. Blocker's side and missed. De St. Foul back to Lucius. Stramel trying to take Dobish's eyes away. Back pass. Kuhlman's nice catch. Backhand to forehand. Cross ice. Good stick by Guzzo. Badger's able to hold his own, though. A minute to go in the five on three. And De St. Foul shot blocked by Guzzo. And this on seven shots on goal. That's the hold. Finds an open man, Erdahl. Here's Lucius now. Slides it slot. Erdahl shoots. Missed the cage. Spun around to the far side. Badgers better than 21% on the power play this season. Again, two for five last night. Six for 11 last two games on the power play. And here's Dobish cover. Badgers had a five on three last night. Didn't do much with it. Tony Granato said today he didn't think they played with much urgency when it was a five on three. You might have been better off with about 30 seconds of a five on three. Most. Um, 89%. They're back at full strength. And Erdahl from the high slot, easily gloved by Dobish, and he hangs on. Yeah, we touched about it. At the penalty. Here's Thiesing now. Thought about shooting. Finds an open man, Gildan. His shot blocked by Lotch. One of the best in the Big Ten at blocking shots, Daniel Lotch. Big six foot, five inch sophomore from Altoona. Here's Stramel. Nice stick handling move. Lucius. They crisscross between the legs. Blind pass. De St. Foul able to retrieve in the far side. Tried to cycle for Stramel, but he couldn't play the puck. And Ohio State's McChance in tight by Dunlap. And Mo got a piece of that one. Now here's Lorai. A lot of room to work. Look out. His toe pulled. And De St. Foul got his stick on it. And Dexheimer got in the way of that. Tough angled shot as well. Back. Caulfield, seven goals this season. 
You get around Laura. He's going to try. Centered one for Bantel. Dobish went off his pad, and then he lost his helmet with a little contact, too, and whistle to stop play. And now Stang and Singleton need to be separated by the men in stripes. Well, Singleton certainly caught the Badgers' attention when he charged the goaltender last night. And Again, I think by the time you've played about another four times, you don't like one another. <laughs> <laughs> there's no doubt. And so there's a little testiness here. Here's how Dobish lost his helmet. And actually, that was... Caulfield tried to put it off Dobish and in, and that it was actually a shot on goal. It hits yeah. him right in the side of the fed time with a 139 goals against a 946 save percentage. Oh, nice move by Strable. Gets up, shoots one low, save made, and decent foul shot goes up off the mesh, stopping play. The other end of the ice a couple minutes ago. I don't think they're going to call this, but there's a move by Stramel. Gets off a point-blank rise. D. St. Paul can't put in the rebound and then takes the hit from Dunlap. Yeah, they're looking uh, to take the body uh, during play or even after the whistle. Warbach breakout pass to Lindmark. They're dumping in left corner to right. Warbach trying to get underneath Halliday, but he... Halliday made the play. Poke check by Spilotic. Falls to his knees. Did the six foot four inch Halliday. Wanted the puck back. Long lead. Wherever you can find ice. Badgers win the draw. Kuhlman's D. St. Foul. One timer. Never got through off the body of Halliday. Who then got tripped up by Stramel. No penalty call. There have been two penalties tonight. One on Bricky for checking from behind. A two minute minor. And then a face off violation against Wise that. The penalty was served by Cassidy. Badgers had two full minutes of five-on-three hockey in the opening period, but failed to convert. Stramel reaches for it, gets it out to the point. Kuhlman's open man, Lucius, can't get a backhand for check, trying to beat Sadloch into the puck, and he does. Open man slot bump. McWard tried to clear, staying in the way. McWard tries again, but Mantle takes the puck. His shot, he got a lot on it. And Dobie play last night served a one-game suspension for a fighting major in an exhibition against the U.S. under-18 team off the draw. Smolonic from the goal line. And, and the Badgers had four, five on three hockey but failed to convert. Smolonic now, nice move, put it in front. Oh, Lindmark and Horbach there, but the puck pusher tripping. And Lindmark for yeah, rough. They didn't give the other rough. And then the other penalty to Burnside, 10 Here's Stramel now for Wisconsin. Draw pass, Lucius. Line pass to Stramel, right to his stick in Mason Lorai and Bricky. Then look for Stramel, but the two didn't connect. And Lorai does a nice job to wall off Stramel to possess the puck. And so his course, no one there for the Buckeyes. And the Badgers, Lindmark to Smolonic. Tried to refeed the cutting Lindmark, but too far for him. And the Badgers have to touch up. Oh, Dobish. Behind his own net, that thing ricocheted off his skate back towards the... To Stramel is one-timer, not much on it. Buckeyes clear. To Stramel is one-timer, not much on it. And now Dexheimer to Lucius. Badgers come ahead with a drop pass to the blue line. Stramel hands off to Dexheimer. Far side, and the shot by Lucius stopped by Dobish. Lonick down. Erdahl. Smolonic goes hard to the net. Erdahl then double team Couldn't get a return feed. And Bantle's blast stopped by Dobish. Penalties expired. After the second period. Donovan wants to shoot and does. And it went off a stick and bounced towards the net minder. And a swooping glove save by Dobish. It's Here's his shot. And again, that thing bounded. And... Dobish saw it all the way. You know, the franchise in that town. Here's Vorlicki. Wants a give and go. and gets it and shoots it. Save made by Dobish. And he kind of paused as the puck was. That's been from Edina. Face off to Dobish's left. Stramel to take the draw against Guzzo. Badgers won it. Lucius Dexheimer. He'll heave it behind the net. Stramel lifted the stick of Guzzo. And able to keep it alive in the corner for Desane Foul. Tied up by McWard. Here's Lucius. Oh, he slid it through a stick. Now here's a chance. Strable blocked down before it got to the net. Heaves it out to the point. Maroney held it, but not very long. And the Badgers have it. Erdahl, Malmquist, left wing. Erdahl shoots one. Stop by Dobish. Rebound there for a moment, but he overskates. 35 minutes. Look at him. He's, he was a 
foot, two feet outside the crease. Ricocheted so strongly past him. Now here's Lucius on the power play, and he tried to go short side high and Badger Club. Badgers win the faceoff. Kuhlman's with it. Bunstee same foul, pressured by Wise. Out to the point, Kuhlman's his wrister stopped by Dremel, made some contact with him. Now Dovish, the puck is underneath him. And he's trying to move the puck. No whistle from the referees. Dovish's stick is caught up in a sweater. He gets back to the crease. Badgers hold the zone. Here's Kuhlemans now. That was interesting. Very strange sequence. <laughs> Gosh. Here's Kuhlemans now. Thought about shooting. Elected not to. What's he going to do with it? Power play continues for 70 more seconds. Lucius with it. Open D. Same foul. And he fanned the shot. And then Lorai pulls in an assist last Saturday against Notre Dame, a helper in last night's win over Ohio State for De St. Fowler. He remains on the ice in the centering. Blues is scramble and he have real chemistry. Yeah, well, Not just riding scooters together, but nice, pretty good on the ice. Nice move by Bantle. Gets around. It's between the legs of Dobish and then pop back out and he covers. Carson Bantle carried it to the net and watched this thing just kind of pinball around a little bit. It looked like it slid under his pads. Carson Bantle, number 20. Bad save made by Moe. Here's Stramel now with D. St. Fallon, Lucius, Badgers top line. Although Ragula with a nice job at the Buckeyes blue line. Holiday now with it for Ohio State. Steps around Stramel, goes to his knees. Burns up. Skates through D. St. Fowl. Off the body of Stramel, Badgers on side. Here's D. St. Fowl, got around a low eye, but his back Hickey will scoop it down deep. Getting the point in the game, you got to think about activating those defensemen, take some chances, and the pressure's on Moe to stop any subsequent odd man rushes. Badgers haven't given many up here this weekend. They've allowed only one goal. But that one goal might beat them tonight. Here's a nice pass back to Stramel in the slot. Found Lucius deep, tried to go five hole, and Dobish with the save. Dobish scones the Badgers' hottest goal scorer, Lucius Hudson. Ohio State. Lindmark getting roughed up and then slashed at by Singleton. And what a pass to Stramel and then Lucius, but a great stop goal. They shut down Ohio State. Only three shots on goal in the third period for the Buckeyes last night. And Ohio State. Wise and Stramel again. Lucius waiting for the faceoff win instead a faceoff loss, although the Badgers hold the zone. Jugnoff tried to get it deep. Back in the corner, the same foul. Interferes with Bricky to free the puck for Stramel, and now Jugnoff with it. Oh, look out. Met by Thiesing. Loose puck picked up by the same foul. Pressured, and that goes. Here's Bantle now. Tries to shoot the puck and somehow Lodge with his back to the net, chopped at it, backhanded up over the top of the cage.